Awesome. So I'm going to show you some optical windows today. And the reason I'm going to go through the optical windows is because I've got a piece of kit to make. See, some time ago, I actually made this guy, which is a piece of kit, you know, sodium potassium alloy, comes out of this syringe through a little jet, um, into a vacuum chamber here where it can be reacted with water, and a little bulge here is such that you can get a microscope really close to where the jet is and get a real good view of what's going on. Problem is, I've now got to measure the, <laughs> the infrared signature of it all, and you can see from the infrared that the big problem is you can't see through glass in the infrared so if you take a look at the uh the cup of coffee there it's completely obscured by the glass and you know glass just shows up as a black body in in the infrared uh so to really highlight that here i've got a nice piece of glass and yeah, it gives you a nice, good view of what does you blow up on what's happening on my hand. And in the infrared, you just get a mirror. Hello, mirror. So, uh, the, quest, the, the problem that we've got is we need something that we can see through in the infrared. <clears throat> so let's take a look at some stuff in the infrared. This is graphite. Um, and it looks a little bit shiny. Yeah, but definitely not see-through in the infrared. Now there's also, by lucky chance, I've got some sort of pyrophoric graphite here. So graphene. Graphene's fascinating stuff in that, first of all, it's remarkably mirror-like. Very good mirror uh, in the infrared. It's also a fantastically good conductor, but I'm not so sure you'll... You know, it's such a good mirror, I'm not so sure you'll even be able to see that uh, yeah, but instantly the whole thing heats up very, very quickly. Um, so it might be okay. Once, nah, not so much. Okay, so uh, that's no good. What else we got? We got some lead, which is pretty dull in the visible, but yeah, fairly shiny in the in the infrared. tin, which again, very, very reflective in the infrared. That's no good. And how about this? This is painted black. Ooh, painted black works okay. Um, for not being shiny at any rate. This is bismuth. Uh, yeah, it's a fairly non-metallic-y type metal, well, as metals go. Uh, and again, not much difference there. And finally, some, this is zinc. Again, super reflective. So, how do we get something that is a nice window in the infrared? In fact, before I go on, I'm going to show you something. These are a couple of lasers. And you'll see that one of them is green, and one of them is red. So now I've got a question. If I shine both lasers on a spot, which one do you think will heat up quicker? So, ready? And I'm going to turn off... I oh, see, you see, yeah. So, bizarrely enough, the red laser actually heats things up much quicker than the green laser, even though the green laser looks much brighter. Yeah. Kill. Anyway, no, so um, that was just some random stuff. <clears throat> what I really want to show you is my optical windows here, which are going to come out in no particular order. So this is potassium bromide. Actually, I'm not going to do potassium bromide because they're water sensitive and he's still sealed. So I'm going to leave him sealed for the moment. Uh, this looks like it's glass. This looks like a regular glass window. It says B270 on it. And indeed, it is. It's a nice optical window, but a pants 
infrared window. Oh. Right, so glass is no good. We kind of knew that, but... Um, right, so what is going to be next? I can't get the windows too mixed up because a lot of these windows look very, very samey. And well, most of them just look like optical windows. Oh, germanium. Now we're in for a treat. So, germanium is awesome stuff. So these are fairly expensive germanium windows. This one is probably over $100. So as you see, it's beautiful and reflective in the visible, but in the infrared, it's pretty transparent. Yeah, it's a bit of mirroring on it, you know. But yeah, if I put that straight over the infrared camera, you see through it pretty well. Whereas if I do exactly the same thing with the visible camera, yeah. Oops. Okay. So yeah, that's your germanium window. Uh, so I might be using them. Uh, Problem is, if I glue these on to my kit, uh, you basically have to. Uh, I'm worried that if I get uh, water or sodium potassium alloy on some of these things, that it'll it'll basically trash the window. Uh, and I don't have a lot of windows, so I can't be too cavalier with uh, going through these. Right, this is calcium fluoride. Sounds like a fairly high density glass. And it's a sort of salty type thing. Oh, he's beautiful, isn't he? So this one is clear in the visible and also clear in the infrared. Oh, he's nice. I like him. So might be using that one. He's big, though. He's unnecessarily big. Uh, and I... I'd also expect that they're like, <laughs> none of these boys are cheap. Um, yeah, the germanium is probably the most expensive. That's probably getting on for a hundred bucks. Uh, fused silica. Silica, if I remember rightly, is very similar to glass. Uh, apart from glass melts relatively low, it melts about a thousand degrees. Silica. Yeah, you have to get it insanely hot. So yeah, there you go. Silica, nice and clear. It's also super hard. This is basically, uh, it's not quite as hard as sapphire, but, um, but yeah, but it's basically just a mirror in the infrared, nice clear in the visible. So that's the thing. If you if you want if you rub silica against glass. Silica is much harder than glass. It'll always scratch the glass. And we have got some more infrared windows in here. That's the bromide, I think. Oh, I've actually got a sapphire window. So this is alumina, aluminium oxide. Silica is silicon dioxide. This one is even harder still. This stuff, oh wow, it feels, feels cold. And it's also almost completely so it's beautiful in the optical. It's super, super hard. It's almost as hard as diamond, this stuff. Uh, almost impossible to melt, very chemically durable, but also a pants window in the optical. Uh, sorry, in, in the infrared. Not too many fingerprints on my my window. So that was sapphire. You can get diamond windows. They're yeah. for a window smaller than this. I think you get about uh, one centimeter by one centimeter uh, diamond window for uh, a couple of hundred bucks. I did look into getting one at one point. You know, not entirely sure why I would need it, but you know, then again, with a lot of this stuff, you don't know why you need it until you need it. This is silver. Just so you know. Nice and shiny. Um, right, so we have one more beautiful zinc 
sulfide, not zinc selenide. I've never zinc selenide. Okay. So, these are the ones that they use for making most of the laser etching stuff. And this one looks small. And they're weird. They look kind of opaque in the visible. Uh, not so good as an optical window, but as an infrared window, it's almost perfect. Yeah. It is very, very transparent in the infrared. Visible? Not so much. Cool. So those are all of my infrared windows. I'm going to go and check what the prices of these was, and I'm going to use the cheapest one, because I, yeah, I'm, so the, the general idea that I've got here is, um, actually the cheapest will be the potassium bromide, but the problem with the potassium bromide is if they get wet, that's it, they, they're, they're destroyed as windows. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make another piece of kit like this, Apart from, rather than there being a sort of optical window here where you can get a microscope up close, you're probably going to have another arm like this, uh, probably coming in from this side, and then I'm going to glue the infrared window on top of it. And it's all down to you know, you know, questions of how close can you focus uh, the, the camera. So the... Oops, let's see if we can... Yeah, a nice focus on something really close. That's the closest I can focus on the thermal camera. Am I getting better or worse? Oh, there we go. So, I can get it nice and close on my finger. Now, I have to tweak the temperature. I didn't want to think about doing this at one point, you know, just going over the body to see. Uh, yeah, because at, at this level you start to see where, I know whether those are just wet bits there, the little dark bits, or if they're changes in the circulation, or what. And you see the finger that's been handling stuff. So my finger's just dirty there. And these are the bits that are evaporating, or is this actually differences in the in the circulation pattern. So let's take a look at my arm. Ooh. So you certainly see so, well, where some of the blood vessels are. You know, they're slightly warmer, right there. Anyway, so uh, yeah, that's some fun with the infrared camera. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you want to see more like this, let me know, and I'll do some more like this. Many thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this stuff, maybe consider supporting it on Patreon, and I will see you next time.